But I mean, there are other ways. Chicken! Chicken! Huh? Chicken. Oh, uh, no thanks, Cubs. Uh, I had a sandwich a little while ago. No, no, Dad, there was a chicken right behind you. Yeah, yeah. There was? Huh? Where? Uh, I don't see any. Oh, chicken! Hey, who are you calling chicken, dude? Yo, I've surfed Waikiki. Okay, those are some pretty gnarly waves. Chicken. No, no, there was a chicken behind you. Hmm? You saw him, didn't you? Yeah, I, I think he jumped into that book. Whoa. <coughs> hmm. The Problem with Chickens, huh? By Bruce McMillan, illustrated by Ganella. Huh. We'd better read it, cubs. Something foul may be afoot. Huh? <laughs> In a small village on the far end of Iceland, there were plenty of eggs, even if there were no chickens. The eggs were on the cliffs where the wild birds lived. There were more eggs here than the ladies of the village could ever use for cooking. But it was too difficult for the ladies to get these eggs. Their husbands might have gathered them, but the men were always too busy fishing and farming. So the ladies traveled to the city to buy some chickens. The chickens were happy in the village. Every day they laid many eggs. The ladies were overjoyed to have so many eggs for cooking. Their cakes were delicious. That is when the problem started. The chickens forgot they were chickens. They started acting like ladies. When the ladies went to pick blueberries, the chickens went too. When the ladies went to a birthday party, the chickens went too. When the ladies sang to the sheep, the chickens sang too. When the ladies took a rest from their gardening, the chickens rested too. Everything the ladies did, the chickens did too. The ladies couldn't even have tea and cakes by themselves. The chickens were so busy acting like ladies that one day they stopped laying eggs. That's when the lady said, We have a problem. So the ladies came up with an idea. It was a very clever idea. They would fool the chickens. The ladies started exercising. Soon the chickens, just like the ladies, were exercising. Day after day, the chickens exercised just like the ladies. Their wings grew stronger and stronger. Then the ladies lifted the chickens one by one into the air and said, Remember, you are birds. 
The chickens flew to places on the cliffs where no other Icelandic birds lived. There, they made their nests and laid their eggs. This could have been a problem, but the ladies had planned for this. The chickens weren't the only ones who got strong from all that exercise. Finally, the strong chickens in the far end of Iceland acted like birds. And the strong Icelandic ladies had no problem gathering the eggs. Also from then on, if the ladies ever needed to go to the city, <laughs> it was no problem at all. The end. Whoa, what a great book. Mm. Oh, it was about the unity of all life. You know how like we're all really one. Mm. Or a... Uh, Maybe not. <clears throat> well, I liked it, but what was it about? Well, uh, let's see. It, it was about these ladies who had a problem. Uh, they, they couldn't get eggs. Yeah, yeah, and then they got these chickens. Oh, right, right, chickens who acted like ladies, right. and, and the ladies solved their problem. Yeah, yeah, they, uh, well, they solved it with them... Uh, um... With them... Um, uh, exercise? Exactly! exactly. <laughs> Oh, hey, uh, maybe we should get some exercise, too. Uh, let's go change into our sweats. Righteous. Stop it. Why noise? Axed. 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 Next. Excellent. What's next on Between the Lions? Chimps and chickens chuckling about the ch sound. Check it out, dudes. <laughs> Chickens. C H. Ch. Ch. C H. Chicks. Chips. Chimps. <laughs> Chimp. Ch ch. Ch ch. E e. Ch ch. Mm. Chim chim. Chimp. Chimp. The Dixie Chimps sing goodbye, Chick. First it was charming, then became alarming when a chicken chose to just be seated. She chewed up my cheese, never ever said please. Played checkers, but she always cheated. Gonna chase that chicken right out of my chair. She's chomping my chips like she belongs there. She's chuckling and chirping, and chase her out and make it quick. The choice is me or her, so it's goodbye chicken. words that begin with the letter C-H. Ch Chicks. Choco. Chess. Chin. Choo-choo. Chimmy. Jess. Cheese. Cheese. C-H. Ch and now a word from Mr. Al Roker. Chili. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, Mr. Roper, oh, that thank, was magnificent. Thank you very much. Oh, chili. It is chili. Oh, it is. And now it's time for... Gawain's word. Gawain's word. Excellent. Gawain here once again at Blending Fields, where two brave knights in armor will charge together at high speed and make a word. 
competing today, we have Sir. Yes. And Sir Ace. Ace. Yay, Ace. Blend on, dudes. Ace. 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 Chase. Yay, Chase. <laughs> Chase. Excellent. That's Gawain's word for today. And this is Gawain saying, don't forget to check us out next time on Gawain's Word. Gawain's Word. Now twist your tongue around this one. Chopper's chop, chopper's chop. 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 Chopper chop, chopper's chop. Chopper's chop, chopper's chop. Perfect, I can do one more. Flying off the shelf once again, it's the continuing daring and dangling adventures of Cliffhanger! Today's adventure, chapter 12,363, Cliffhanger and the Chuckling Chickens. Cliffhanger, hanging from a cliff, and that's why he's called Cliffhanger. Excuse me, excuse me! We find Cliffhanger where we left him last, hanging from a cliff. Can't hold on much longer. By chance, Cliff looks up and spots a bunch of chuckling chickens clutching a chain with a chair on the end of it. Quickly, Cliff reaches into his backpack and extracts his trusty survival manual. Using his champion decoding skills, Cliff begins to read. If you spot a bunch of chuckling chickens clutching a chain with a chair on the end of it, ask them to get you down. Get me down! Ah, uh, what does down mean? I'll look it up in my trusty chicken dictionary. Down, the soft feathers of young birds often used to make pillows. <laughs> But down has another meaning, too. It's the opposite of up. <laughs> Enjoy your down. And you can keep the chain. And that's why he's called Cliffhanger. Can't hold on much longer. C-H. Ch chickens. One, two, three. Oh, this is awesome. I can really feel the burn, dude. You're, you're telling me I think someone better cut down on his bananas. Four, five, six, seven, eight. First came the chicken. Oh, now comes the egg. Thank you. Oh. An egg is quiet. <gasps> What's Lionel doing? I'm going to find out. <laughs> Hi, Lionel. Shh. What are you doing? Listening to this egg. Mm -hmm. Lionel's listening to an egg. Why are you listening to an egg? Oh, he wants to find out if it's quiet. <gasps> mm. Okay, I've heard enough. <laughs> this egg really is quiet, Mom. <laughs> book is right. You're right. Mm -hmm. oh, what book? Oh, this one. An egg is quiet. Now, Lionel, do you remember wait, where we were? Wait, 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 wait. Hmm? Start at the beginning. I want to hear about eggs being quiet, too. Oh, uh, you don't mind, do you, Lionel? <laughs> Books are for sharing. Right. Here we go. Back to the beginning. <clears throat> An Egg is Quiet by Diana Aston, illustrated by Sylvia Long. <gasps> An Egg is Quiet. 
It sits there under its mother's feathers, on top of its father's feet, buried beneath the sand, warm, cozy. An egg is colorful. An egg is shapely. There are round eggs. Round eggs fit together nicely in tight spaces. There are oval eggs. There are pointy eggs. Seabird eggs are pointy at one end, so if they're laid on rock ledges, they roll around in safe little circles, not off the cliff. There are even tubular eggs. The markings on some eggs help them blend in with their surroundings. This is called camouflage. Camouflage is an egg's way of hiding. An egg does not want to be eaten by a raccoon or a snake or a fox or an insect. Eggs come in different sizes. An ostrich egg is so big and so round, it takes two hands to hold one egg. Hummingbird eggs are the size of a jelly bean. An egg is artistic. An egg is textured. There are hard eggs, and soft eggs, and gooey eggs. There are smooth eggs and rough eggs. An egg gives the little creature growing inside it everything it needs. The shell is its home. The yolk is its food. The egg white, or albumin, is its pillow. The shell is covered with teeny tiny holes which allow air to enter. Here's what a baby chick looks like growing inside its egg after the first three days. Here it is at seven days, 13 days, and 18 days. After 21 days, it hatches into a baby chick. An egg is quiet. Then suddenly, an egg is noisy. The end. <laughs> wow! Here I thought an egg was quiet, and it turned out that the exact opposite is also true. An egg is noisy. <laughs> ah, this one is still pretty quiet. Mm. Hmm. Mm. She's right. Why is this one quiet? Yeah. <laughs> That's because it isn't hatching. If something comes out of it, then it will be noisy. <laughs> <gasps> What's going to hatch from it? Mm. <gasps> Maybe it's a duck, huh? Oh. Mm. Or a turtle! <gasps> or even, ba ba bum, a dinosaur! <gasps> Who knows? Well, I have to go mow the lawn. Let me know if the egg starts making noise, okay? Mm -hmm. Bye! <clears throat> I think we should wait here until this egg hatches. I want to know what comes out. Oh, oh, me too, me too. Hey, do you think we should sit on it? Mm. Well, don't birds usually sit on their eggs to get them hatched? No, we might break it. Let's just watch it. Well, okay. Oh. Ah. One more. Mom. Everybody. Please welcome my guest, Theo Lyons! What's up, man? What's coming up on Between the Lions? Well, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, watch for more noise and more chickens. Oh, and a hen singing about chickens, too. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, presenting the incredible, daring Trampolini Brothers, performing the noisy, balancing ballyhoo! That's noisy! That's even noisier! That's the noisiest of all! Noisy, noisier, noisiest! 
Folks, let's hear it for the terrific Trampolini Brothers. <laughs> Hopping out of the bushes. Is it a bug? Is it a squirrel? No! It's Opposite Bunny! Loud! Here he comes, the Opposite Bunny! Quiet. The duck was loud, now he's quiet. How does that bunny do it? Who's that cute bunny? That was the opposite bunny. Baby Chick by Aileen Fisher. Peck, peck, peck on the warm brown egg. Out comes a neck. Out comes a leg. How does a chick who's not been about discover the trick of how to get out? Library information hen. What? What kind of bird is a hen? Well, you've certainly come to the right place. Listen to this. Hens are simply foul, and crows are for the birds. And while we're on the subject, let me say a few more words. A pigeon is a smidgen, like a dog mixed with a quail. A peacock's like a turkey with a psychedelic tail. Oh, hens are simply foul. I'll say it once again. A hen is also a chicken, and a chicken is a hen. And if my explanation increases your frustration, the only thing important in the end is foul. Welcome. Information hand, how may I help you? Oh. Here's some different shapes we see every day. I see an oval egg. I see a round ball. I see a flag that's a rectangle. I see a square box. And this is a triangle. What shape do you see? It's short story time with Artie Smarty Pants. Uh, hello. Uh, my, my finger is stuck in the book and I want to read it to you. Oh, I will pull it out. Ooh. Ah! Oh, well, the book is titled Worm is Stuck, written and illustrated by Kathy Capel. <laughs> Worm is a circle. Worm is a square. Worm is a triangle. Worm is a zigzag. Worm is a figure eight. Ooh. Worm is a bow. Worm is a knot. Help! Uh, worm is stuck. The end. Ah. Uh, uh, 
Oh, oh no. And now it's, uh, it's time to say goodbye. Uh, oh, I'm stuck again. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah. oh, stuck. Oh, yeah. oh, stuck. I hate being stuck in the boat. Oh. Did you hear anything yet? No. Did you? No. <sighs> How long do you think we have to wait? Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, 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 sorry. Hey, hey, have either of you seen my... Oh, there it is! Huh? My egg! What? what? Oh, this is, this oh, is oh, your oh, egg? Oh. Well, well, hey, what kind of egg is it? Huh? Yeah, is it a dinosaur egg with a cute little teeny tiny dinosaur in it with teeny oh. tiny wings? Yeah. No. <laughs> no, no. It's not the kind of egg that hatches. <laughs> huh? huh? Well, it's a hard-boiled egg. Huh? But cooked? It's my lunch? Ah! <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> bon appetit! <laughs> oh. Oh, looks good. Yo, check it out! We're going surfing without a board, dudes! <laughs> okay, because we're surfing between the lion's website. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go to PBSKids.com.